Hello and welcome back to our seventh episode of the Rule of Two show here on the C Cinema Reviews channel. I, Jared, am back, and with me, as always, is his sister. Is his sister. We really gotta come up with like quippy little names for ourselves. Star Wars related, of course, but like. We'll leave that to you, the two fanboys who watch this or listen to it, okay? Come up with a couple quippy names for us so that we can be like, oh, it's me, you know, you know, pres- whatever, whatever you want to call us, okay? Just, it's just me. come up with, <laughs> just come up with a couple names so that, you know, Star Wars related names. It could be punny, you know, with with a pun in there. Uh, it could not be punny. Just you know, Reason. something to something to talk about in the comment section down below. Um, but if you're new here, thank you for clicking. Uh, sorry, we've already gone off the rails, but uh, hey, it's our show, and we're gonna do what we want. Uh, today we have uh, it's a slow week. It's it's a slow week. Um, Again. but we do have a couple topics for you today uh today we're gonna be talking first about ron howard um tweeting out that the movie is pretty much done and our second topic is the last jedi los ultimos jedi comes home on blu-ray this week uh it was it it felt like a, a long time in between the time we watched it and the time we watched it at home um and yeah, so that's our that's our topics. Uh, but uh, anything anything else we we missed? Oh, subscribe if you're new, and if you like this and enjoy it, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Uh, we 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 enjoy comments in the comment section down below. We have a Facebook page. It's facebook.com/slash/ccinemareviews page. Link will be in the description. We're also on Twitter at ccinemareviews. So definitely. Tell us your thoughts, um, either in the comment section down below or, or on the, one of those two platforms. All the plugs. All the plugs before we get started, and let's just jump into Ron Howard. Uh, I read the tweet. I am f- a follower of the the real Ron Howard. Really? Yes, on Twitter, and Ooh. he says the final edit is... In a, in a tweet, he said the final edit is locked in um, that John Powell, the the man making the score, uh, is finishing up the score, doing apparently doing the last bits of uh, recording for that. And then since the score is being finished up, they still have to do some of the sound mixing because score is a huge part of that. Uh, the sound mixing still hasn't been done. Um, and they're they're cleaning up the uh, visual effects, and finally the last thing on that little tweet was that there's a new trailer out there in the pipeline, just I, uh, in, in the, the in in the world wide web. Can somebody leak that, please? Because I want to see it now rather than later. Mm. Um, oh, one thing one thing to to note. Uh, John Powell is doing the score, but they still got John Williams to do Han Solo's uh, theme, which, like, of course, why wouldn't you? Um, but what do you think about this? It's done. The final edit, at least, is done. Yeah, I'm glad they yeah they did it with a little bit of spare time. About a month. And it sounds like they redid the whole thing. So a month that's, and a few days. Yeah, that's good. Um. No, more than a month, I'd say. Yeah, a month and a few days. Month. Doesn't it come out like on the twenty seventh or something? Uh, of May. Something like that. I thought it was the teens, but whatever. Um, so that no, that's good. That gives me a lot of faith. I think yeah. Ron Howard. Howard. I don't know why that was hard to say. Um, is he's gonna do the best? He has done the best job he could. Well. And as far as the music goes... We don't know that yet because we haven't seen the movie. <laughs> wow. I, I'm i taking an educated guess and then right. he tried his hardest. Of course. And... You would assume I, he would try his hardest. <laughs> yes. 
I don't know what John Powell has done. So yeah, we should have looked that up. But we put our we, we put our phones away and everything, so there's no looking up stuff. I should have looked that up. That's my fault. If you want <laughs> in the comment section down below, go ahead and roast me for not having the the all the information in the world. But hey, I don't want my phone starting up and messing up this show. Anyway, I'm trying to be professional I'm, around here. I'm sure that they got a very capable. Of course, yeah. Uh, uh, Co- uh, co- composer, yes, com- music, com- music composer. For Whatever this. we're stumbling and over. And it's gonna words. be, it's gonna be so, great. It's gonna be great. And then John Williams, just, just a taste. I mean, obviously, it's a Star Wars movie. You're gonna yeah. get plenty of John Williams. Mm-hmm. But for John Williams yeah. to come and do the the, I'm super surprised. Like, it's not. I'm, I'm not super surprised. Um, but it it's really kind of weird that. Han himself doesn't have his own dedicated theme. Luke's got his theme. Leia's got her theme. You know, the Falcon even almost has like its, like its own theme. Whenever you see it, you have that one thing. Ray's but, like, got her theme. Ray's got a theme. Kylo, but it's kind of weird that Han himself like doesn't yeah. have that swashbuckling it's cool thing. For a theme. <laughs> Like, I mean, Canto Bite has its own theme. (laughs) Well, that is a little suspect. Yeah. But um, as far as a new trailer, I can't wait to see it. Oh, my goodness. Now? Tomorrow? Today? Like, right now? Yeah. I think the thing... Are they waiting for May 4th? They're... No. I... Well... That, I feel like that's too close. I would think you would put it... We need the 75 yeah. spots by May 4th. I would think you would put it, re- like, before Ready Player One. Clearly, I'm not a marketer. Um, What Disney movies are... Maybe they'll they'll do it in front of... Um, what? Infinity War. Yeah, I think, like, that's definitely... You're getting something in front of Infinity War for Star Wars because, like... Literally everyone is going to see Infinity War, um, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, uh, what like what do you think about the trailer? Do you, do you I th- I know a lot of people are saying they need to see Alden more, um, because you haven't gotten like to me, you sell this movie with Lando. You know what I'm saying? Why do you think people are more ready to accept uh, him than? Because the way he looks. Because the way he looks. You already think that by his looks, he's embodying. It's like, I understand that, like, Lando has a big part in episode five, and he has a big part in episode six. But there's something about, like, Han, who you've seen for those... Is he more precious? The entire original trilogy. Yeah, I totally think Han is more precious because he's dead. That's the problem. Oh, people, so you can't like. Be yeah. Like, well, here he is back in form with yeah. Harrison Ford. And it's not a reboot, and that's the whole thing. Like, if you reboot a character like the James Bond people have done, mm-hmm. you're just totally rebooting the character. You're you're not you're not only like you're not only having a new person play the same character, but you're rebooting pretty much the entire world. You know sure. what I'm saying? And that's the thing. Like, if you reboot uh, Indiana Jones, yeah, y- people will still compare you to to Harrison, but they will forgive you for having someone who doesn't look like young Harrison Ford because you're rebooting the franchise with a new actor. This is not a reboot, and that's why I think people are very skeptical of Alden. I'm, I'm like, totally 100% behind him. I want this to be great. But yeah. I think that that is why it's because it's not a reboot. It's part of the... I don't need to see more of Alden, although bring it on. Yeah, br- totally you know? bring it on. Um, The thing is... Uh, to me, it's I'd just like... I'd like to see more Lando, yeah. just a little bit, because I'm not completely sold. You didn't even sold. see him talk. <laughs> no, I'm not completely sold. Yeah. On him, even though he looks the part, yeah, and I have no absolutely. doubt that he could I carry do, yeah. that role. I do see. I do. That's the thing for me. You t- I just want more of a story too, and just a little. Tell me a little bit more. Yeah. And then I'll be on board. Don't give me. You can recycle some, 
but don't don't make it like the international trailer where it's literally like the same thing. Right. Just Give me to, like, a little Asian more story. <laughs> you can recycle half of it. The yeah. rest give me some yeah. cool shots. I just something. need Lando talking cuz like you like to me yes. best Han is Han and Lando. Really? Yeah, best Han like Han in episode 4 where you never even have a, a mention of Lando. He's amazing. But to me it's when Han and Lando, the two scoundrel guys, are in contact with each other. I think that that makes for some of the best moments in the Legends books. When Han mm-hmm. and Lando are together, you just, it to me, it just like chills down my spine, goosebumps, whatever you want to say. It's just, I love those two being together. Hmm. I don't agree at all. <laughs> okay. I just like him on his own like being cool you know because once Lando? you no uh it, just talking about han i think he's better i totally love lando the thing is yeah. i just like it when there's nobody there that's he might be better than him like i don't ever want to see that hmm. but yeah. I also like seeing Lando but and them together in small doses. They're great in the books, though. Amazing. Amazing. It doesn't take anything away from... It only adds to... I'm really excited for Last Shot, that book with them, both yes. of them. Um, I think it adds to the both of their characters for them to be together. I don't need them together. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I'm arguing against no. what I just said. Yeah, yeah. But... <laughs> you're, you're okay. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, we kind of milked that story. I'm just saying, <laughs> I don't need him to make Han better. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. I, you yeah. Han is great by himself. I'm just yes. saying, like, for me, there's some there's something extra special when I see both of them or hear both of them in a book. Mm-hmm. Uh, but let's get to Los Ultimos Jedi in Blu-ray in our house on our TV. It was so fun. Yeah, it was. It was so fun. So, so you guys... We usually record this on a Saturday, like the Saturday before the Sunday that it goes up. But today, we're recording it on Sunday. It's just that yesterday was so weird because I woke, we woke, I woke up super late. Um, we had some stuff. We had to go somewhere like immediately after I woke up. And then we got back and then we watched episode <laughs> 7. We watched episode seven yesterday, and then I had to go to work for like two hours, and then we wanted to watch. Our pl- our original plan was as soon as we got the Blu-ray of episode eight, Los Ultimos Jedi, we were going to watch seven and eight back to back. You know, we were gonna do that yesterday. We didn't watch it back to back. We watched seven. I went to work Took for two a hours, hours off. and then we came back and we watched episode eight yesterday, which is like took up all of our evening so we really didn't have time to record this yesterday that's the only reason that this is coming out it's not because we didn't want to do it it's because we were watching star wars so you know that comes first anyway what like like seeing this movie again it's been a while it was a good month uh yeah it it was a good month and a half i'd have to check from when not when board. yeah from when we but had seen I've it. I've seen it three maybe four times. This is my third time. No 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 fourth no. I'm pretty sure this is like my third time watching it. Yesterday I'm was. going. There will be many more to come. Before you guys. Before this I had seen it like three or four times. Yeah no you got like you 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 fanboy the two fanboys what are listening to this show. There will be many more viewings of me to come because. We're go- I'm going to get that uh, score-only version of The Last Jedi, which sounds just like heaven. And then I, I, we, I, we haven't watched the commentary. We watched everything else. We watched the deleted scenes, the uh, documentary, uh, the, the, the director and the Jedi. We just we haven't watched the commentary yet, the director's commentary, which I hope will be very insightful. Um, but there will be many more viewings of it. Don't we, worry. Just because I haven't watched it a minimum of ten times doesn't mean I don't uh, like love the movie and understand a lot of it. Um, um, we the version that we got because on sale it's like there's the Blu-ray, there's the DVD, the Blu-ray plus 
DVD, Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital. We got the like. Well, I got the like special. You got Los Ultimos Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> I got the special, which comes with a like a forty-page booklet. Gallery book and it has these. It's these like pictures. Yeah, it basically goes over each character, tiny little excerpts. Yes, about the characters, mm-hmm. and then some like some concept photos. drawings. Yeah, some concept art too. And basically, it comes with like four DVDs: the Blu-ray, and the bonus Blu-ray, the DVD, and then one other one that we gotta figure out what it is. It literally just has like a little thing on porgs. You don't even get to press play. Oh, it just goes into one. a thing on Porgs. Yeah, it's just and like... I'm wondering if, if I put it into a regular DVD player, because we put it into a Blu-ray player that also plays DVDs. <laughs> and I'm wondering if I put it into a blue into a regular DVD player, will it give me like options? Because it was just like a Porg thing. I don't think so. I you... think it'll just be the Porg thing. But it was so weird. Yeah, it was. Anyway, maybe I gotta... That's what happens when you get Los Ultimos Jedi. (laughs) It was just like, why do I need this for? You guys couldn't fit this on one of the other ones? Yeah. But um, that being said, I think I really like them. The look of the case and everything. I mean, of all the posters they put out, they really just put all the post... Like, every single poster that they made for this movie, they put it... On every single piece of the, right. this, like, DVD case. No, yeah, the, and the like, DVDs. This little booklet has, like, one of the posters on the front and another one on the back. <laughs> the Kylo Ren yeah. is one on the back, the Rays on the front. Like, it's a foldy um, CD case, and each, like, fold has, like, a poster right. on it. Plus, the DVDs themselves yeah. have the posters on them. And, like, like some <laughs> random shots of, like, Kylo Ren who turned around. It's like... Huh. No, yeah, like was that a poster? That that's the great thing about like new Star Wars movies to me is not only do you get to see them in a theater and that's amazing, but like the one of the best things is bringing home that DVD and then having that chance, just like we do with the original trilogy, to literally watch a Star Wars movie, the new Star Wars movie whenever you want and and that's the thing that i love it like sometimes you could be like oh i feel like watching a new movie or i feel like watching you know black panther well you can't get it because you, you're gonna have to go to the theater you can't just like sit at home in your pjs and watch black panther right now right. even though you really want to just watch it but it's like getting that dvd or the blu-ray to me it's like it opens up a world up your imagination because like you can literally just sit down at one o'clock in the morning like boom let's watch a star wars movie right and you have it it's there what did you think of the documentary the documentary was good i liked it i felt like they needed to focus more on some of the stuff really yeah it was because i just watched the like document it wasn't a documentary but the behind the scenes for the force awakens basically the same kind of stuff yeah it was a a little bit less about like building the sets and the money stuff Yeah, it felt like a behind the scenes thing rather than a documentary right but there were a lot of great moments in it um even at, at one point and i could see why they brought it out of the uh, movie there was a line they were doing the scene where she fights has spoilers <laughs> she fights Luke and um, he says something like you'd fall for anyone with pretty brown eyes or something like that and like you know what the Raylo shipper in oh me was like goodness. oh my word he knows but you know I could see why they took it out because you know whatever they don't want exactly they're maybe not, that's not the road they're going they're not, down they're not no but it was just interesting look, like they had some really good stuff in there like yeah but but i do think that it is like a behind the scenes documentary because like there's one part that i really wanted them to you know hard, like i really wanted them to have a dedicated section on the well two like two things i wanted it on that flashback with luke because like there's a ton of information you see the children's dead bodies that that kylo killed you see like there's three flashbacks and they like never mention that shot once they never show you 
them shooting that shot where the the the, the three different shots with um, Luke in Ben's like little hut thing. They never show you that shot how it's done. It almost makes me feel like did they do that in CG? Like is that all CG? Because they never show you that in the documentary. To me, that's one of the biggest things because that's like a, that's kind of a huge reveal. And that's the only time Luke has ever ignited the green. I wanted some th- kind of thing with the documentary. I wanted to see Mark Hamill himself. Like for when they that prop person first gives him his green lightsaber, like mm. the hilt for that, because that's so big. You didn't nobody. We hadn't seen that for thirty years. Like, wouldn't Mark yeah. Hamill be like, "Oh, I'm back, baby." You know, don't you want to see that when he first gets it? It's kind of like. Was, go ahead. And the second thing was the the battle between Kylo and and oh yeah you and said Luke. That. They mentioned it a little bit. They barely mentioned it. They were like, and then we're gonna shoot uh, the battle between Luke and Kylo Ren, and it was um, like over. I understand is because like Luke when they were actually battling, Luke was like CGI because he was doing Matrix stuff, <laughs> but like still they got him out there. <laughs> like show me, show me Mark Hamill and Kylo Ren together, and like ha- have them sit down and talk about that scene where Kylo Ren could talk about, hey, I had to get in character, so I was like, I hate you, I hate you, I hate, and Luke, yeah. and with Mark Hamill cracking <laughs> jokes, like I didn't <laughs> feel like, you know, they serve justice to yeah, Luke Skywalker back in action. I don't think we ever saw them like just like, hey, good shot, you know, we did a good thing right there. I don't think yeah. we ever saw that. Yeah. And maybe that was because Adam Driver wanted to keep himself separate. But mm-hmm. when um Harrison Ford died, they did have a in the behind the scenes they had a point where Adam Driver went up to him, like shook his hand and was like, nice working with you or whatever so that would have been nice to have seen i mean he's killed off like they did they did (laughs) like focus towards the end on luke's death and what that meant and everything but like one thing i love i just i wanted that extra stuff yeah i get it they can't show everything though yeah um one thing i did like make it like two hours (laughs) one thing i did like though was that they um focused on how much Mark Hamill didn't agree with the choices. Oh, yeah. Like, they kept coming back to it. Yeah. And I think that's important to know. Yeah. Because not a lot of people liked it. But in to, to me, hearing that and everything, in J.J. I trust. Okay? <laughs> in J.J. I trust. Um, he has, like, J.J. has a lot on his shoulders with what this movie does. Um, uh, but I trust him. I think that he's going to bring it home in such a way where I know we're not going to get Luke igniting the green lightsaber again. That's okay. And to me, I've I've moved on from that. I've moved on from my my, okay. my lust for that. <laughs> but back to the back to the Blu-ray. No. It's really good. Are you what's your favorite part of that documentary? Just name it. Oh, when they talk about Leia. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think it's so hard because I can't. I need to watch it again. <laughs> but right now I'm going with Frank Oz. Oh yeah, that's that's a good one. When too. like when he comes back, it's like oh my goodness. Yeah, it's and like, the way that he like totally got Shivers into it. You see him like getting in there. He's like doing the work. This is a, like a, this is a, a man, successful yeah. director like procedures, yeah, and then all of a sudden he gets in there, do it, like, and you're just like oh my word, this guy's incredible. That, that's the cool thing. And then that, Mark like, Hamill gets teary, and yeah, you're just like because it's Yoda. Like we're back, the best baby. Part. Yeah. That yeah, Frank Oz was awesome, but like when they talk about Carrie, I was just like I wanted a ball so much, you know. Yeah. I just wanted to I just wanted to cry and They be did like, a good job though of like was, putting yeah. in happy music when they talked about her. Yeah, because like she wouldn't have wanted I mean, she would have been okay with like people crying, but like she wouldn't have wanted it to be like a depressing part of the thing. Yeah. She had some funny moments. Yeah. In oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. She's the best. Yeah. Um, so that that was my favorite. Like the Frank Oz stuff is so cool, um, and and it like it's it's totally like goosebumps and shivers down my spine because of that character. And it's been so long since we did see that, and now like it makes me want to watch the the entire original trilogy again, getting that Yoda, and then watching episode seven and eight right after because I want to see. 
like I want to see Luke igniting the green again, and so I can get you know Empire and and Return of the Jedi where he does go you know at Vader with that lightsaber, and then I get these two movies where it's different. You get a different Luke, and mm-hmm. I appreciate having a a a older matured Luke. Um, yeah. But I just want to like having the DV the the Blu-rays now. I'm just gonna, I just want to watch them all yeah. in a row. Um, let me ask you this: uh, of the deleted scenes, did you think any needed to be in there? Yes, Luke, Luke Skywalker. Okay, that's the one I wanted. Yes. Yeah, Luke Skywalker. It, it it's literally called Luke has a moment. Um, it's just he goes into his hut. It's right after he finds out that Han Solo is dead. He goes into his hut. He sits down and he sheds a tear. That is something that is so powerful. And it's literally like a 30 second, maybe a minute long little shot. Okay, you guys. And it it flows perfectly into the Leia sitting there contemplating what's Uh happening. It flows perfectly into that. And to me... That is the one thing that is the one thing that Ryan Johnson himself should have put in there. I feel I feel like he made right decisions with everything else in the movie. I feel like he could have cut out like 15 seconds of Canto of, Bite. of the father year stuff. Yes, you could have you could have cut some of that out and put that in there because look, I know you made all these sets for Canto Bite. I know you're making all it's this expensive. CGI and it's expensive and you want to get as much of that in there as you can. But hey, sometimes the best moments are the ones where nothing happens. Yeah, it's very but still. But it's it was so powerful. Mm-hmm. And like we did we don't get a lot of Luke in this new trilogy so far. We don't get a lot of him and every time we do he's, you know, crazy and people leaving the house i don't know what's going on but i'm gonna stay on target here the window. we do we do i feel like we needed that in the movie because of like look luke spent a long time with han a long time a long uh, he spent an entire we saw an entire trilogy where luke was with han okay they were friends they were best friends well they were some of like Chewie and Han yes (laughs) Yes. better but like these guys went through wars together these guys watched Kylo Ren grow up together I still feel like they'd both lay their own life on the line for each other yeah they they still would so that stinks yeah I mean like in their time when they were like thick as thieves yeah that and they gave happen. they in episode seven, you guys watching it again in episode seven, they gave that time for Han Solo to to almost mourn Luke when Ray and Finn are taught when Ray and Finn tell him uh, that BB-8 has a map to Luke Skywalker. You see that like that like mournfulness in Harrison Ford as Han Solo. How you see it in him? He's like. Oh, my friend, like, my friend has been gone for so long. You totally see that in Han Solo. We should, we should have. And this is, this is, this is an absolute, like, 100% correct statement that I believe, and I believe in it wholeheartedly, that we should have seen in the movie, in the proper movie, we should have seen Luke Skywalker mourn the death of Han Solo because that is, is what Luke Skywalker would have done. He mourned the death of Obi-Wan, which he knew for a week, maybe less. He should have mourned the death of Han Solo, which he knew for a lifetime. All right. Now that my rant is over. (laughs) You literally just crossed your arms like a three-year-old. Now that my rant is over, I I greatly appreciate Ryan Johnson for what he uh, accomplished and what he did for us as Los Ultimos Jedi's uh, fans and fans of the franchise. Um, and one it's a good like DVD, you should get it. Yeah, or I can. Blu-ray. Yeah, Blu-ray, get it, but get the one that gives you the digital one because I cannot wait to see 
the score only version. I think I might watch the score only version more than the regular version. Like to be totally honest, I think like during my lifetime, hmm. I might enjoy that more. And so I'm there might be more views. Not with you there, that. but good for you. <laughs> <laughs> and I almost wish that like they would re-release every movie with just the score only version. To me, it would work, and I would enjoy it. I would eat it up. Maybe even the prequels. <laughs> <laughs> like that. that's terrible they're anyway. wonderful just as they are <laughs> anyway we thank you very much for watching this uh i understand that we stretched these two topics out <laughs> and we we may have gotten off topic a few times but hey hey it was all uh, in hey, star wars it's our show so you know <laughs> get mad at me in the comment section down What's below that miley cyrus song it's our Something we can do. What is it? Show? I don't, no, I don't think we should mention Miley Cyrus on oh, the Star Wars show. Anyway, before we, we just totally get off the rails, sorry. We thank you so much. Um, like I said at the beginning, go ahead and comment com uh, down below. Tell me your thoughts on uh, get picking up the Blu-ray for yourself. What do you think? What did you think of the documentary? Document. Uh, what was your favorite part of the documentary? Um, and anything else you'd like to talk about? Literally anything else. When, when, when? Except Miley Cyrus. You guys, I, I want to know in the comment section down below, or on the Facebook page or, or Twitter. I want to know Instagram. when you Everything. think the 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 Han Solo trailer will come out. When do you think? Just tell me, tell me, whenever and wherever um, you want. Uh, so yeah, soon uh, I think soon. I, I mean, obviously soon, but like when? Soon. <laughs> when? Soon. I want a date. <laughs> anyway, let's 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 end it there. We thank you so much. Um, definitely go back and watch the previous episodes. Uh, there are more interesting topics. <laughs> or don't live your life. Yeah, you know? if you've if you've already seen them, hey, thank you. You don't have to. But if you haven't seen them, there's some good topics in there. We have some fun conversations about Star Wars and. Star Wars related stuff in those. Uh, so yeah, um, they're, 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 they're on the channel. Uh, may the force be with you. Always. <laughs>